beautiful morning here in Tecurvo in the Andes in Peru. Hard fought victory last night to get me here. I rode through the rain up very steep slopes eventually to almost 9,500 feet. The second ascent to over 9,000. I was not anticipating a very wet descent on all gravel into this community, but that's what happened. And I didn't arrive here till almost eight o'clock. So the little bit of sunshine that's breaking through the clouds above me feels exceptionally good. 10 times as good as it normally would. I'm just departing the San Juan Hotel here in the middle of town, and I will begin the new day here, April 1st, a significant date. I have just two months is my expectation before the winter closes the door on Argentina and I otherwise would have to overwinter in South America before I concluded the tour, which I would like to avoid because of many responsibilities and just other things in life that I'd like to do. So fingers crossed today, we have a smooth day and transition to the next community, which I have marked, it's about 63 miles and over some very high passes. <laughs> I think it concludes at about 10,000 feet. Seems I have about 15 miles to go, that much is certain. What I don't know is whether or not the roads will be favorable for bicycle travel or by any other means, or if they'll degrade into some rough format of a gravel road. The roads are constantly changing from asphalt to gravel and back again. Sometimes the stretches of either are short and other times they're very long. So it's impossible for me to say what lies ahead. 14 miles with 1,500 feet of climbing sounds very reasonable to you and me. But what I experienced last night was very unfavorable. And I assure you, you'd agree as well. The conclusion of the day, at least 10 miles of gravel, my own fault it turned out to be in the dark, is also very wet and muddy.
Here we go with some courage back onto the Kaye.